My name is Cathy Ruddy and I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at the Neural Control Movement Lab. The main focus of my research is upon understanding rhythms in the brain and specifically how these rhythms relate to movement. For investigating brain rhythms we use EEG which is electroencephalography. With this we can see that the brain exhibits a range of different frequencies and each of these different frequencies represents a different state of the brain such as actively processing information or resting. The big mystery that continues to puzzle scientists is whether these oscillations are simply a byproduct of some other neural processes in the brain or whether the oscillations themselves are directly instrumental in driving behavior. And therefore, if we could change the oscillations, could we change the state of the brain and therefore change the behavior? The problem in this field of research is that we have no existing method for changing the oscillations in the brain and this is something that I'm currently working on. If we had a way to change the oscillations, we would have experimental control. Therefore, we could change the oscillations and observe how this change in brain state impacts upon behavior. And the method that I'm using to do this is brain-computer interface. With the brain-computer interface, the user learns over time to move a cursor on a screen by controlling one of their brain rhythms. This BCI is controlled by the user's alpha rhythm. So to make the dot go up, she needs to increase the amplitude of her alpha rhythm and to make it go down, she needs to decrease it. Another method that we use to investigate the state of the brain is transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. A magnetic pulse applied over the motor cortex produces a response in the muscle, and the size of this response indicates the state of the underlying motor cortex. If the response is bigger, we know that the brain is more facilitated, and if the response is smaller, we know that it's more inhibited. My current research involves combining EEG with TMS measurements to investigate whether changing specific brain rhythms using the BCI can actually alter the output of the motor system that we measure using TMS. As we know that brain rhythms are very important in a range of different movement disorders, the ability to use the BCI to non-invasively alter brain rhythms may be very important in future research into neural rehabilitation.